we are. All cleaned up. <laughs> ah, just in time. Welcome back! Now, before the break, I was talking about what has happened recently. And that is uh, Thomas the Tank Engine's new look for next year. The new series of Oscar Barney's favourite memory characters that happened last week. And uh, Ben Bryan's Winnie the Pooh Toys family reaching 70 episodes. And we were talking about talking to Sugar Mouse about how she got involved with my Toys family. And uh, Teddy ate her because uh, he was hungry and she thought she was ice cream. <laughs> but uh, I just cleaned up the desk and Sugar is clean so there's no more slobber around. Oh, I'm hungry now. I've just mentioned ice cream. And I remember after the break, no, before the break, I was mentioning chips. Oh, chips and ice cream. But I can't have my tea just yet because I've got a show to host. In fact, I've got a quiz to host. It's time for the Oscar Barney Quiz! Pen at the ready. Cards at the ready. You know how it works. I ask Teddy and the guest six general knowledge questions to see who gets to win this. Throughout this whole series, we've had four draws and two single wins. What will it be this time? Let's find out. Are you ready, Teddy? Ready. Are you ready, Sugar? Here comes the first question. What surface are the Wimbledon Championship tennis matches played on? Is it clay? Is it concrete? Is it grass? Or is it sand? Teddy. Oh, that's easy. Grass. Sugar. Easy. Grass. Both saying C. Correct answer is... Grass! Point to both of you. <laughs> That's ridiculous, isn't it? Concrete? Who would play a tennis match on concrete? I mean, think about it. What if one of the players uh, ends up falling over and then breaks some, breaks some of his bones on the concrete or pretty much hurts himself? So, like, for example, this. <laughs> that would be the match stopped if one of the players gets a broken arm. So, but the uh, clay and sand, yeah, that you can't get hurt on that. And as Wimbledon's in that question, I think we've all got to sing one particular song. Everybody, one, two, three. Underground, overground, wombling free. The wombles of Wimbledon, common are we. Making good use of the things that we find. Things that the everyday folks leave behind. Now let's move on. That's enough. That's enough singing. If you don't get this one, I'd be very surprised. Which of the following is not a primary colour? Purple, red, blue, yellow. What kind of question is that? This isn't a preschool show, you know. Teddy? Oh, purple. Sugar. Purple? Well, the correct answer is obviously purple. Well done to both of you! That's got to be the easiest question we've ever had on this show. Surely everyone here must know their primary colours. Yeah, red, yellow, blue. And the secondary colours, orange, green, purple. I'm not complaining or anything, I'm just saying, uh, 
the question writers made that a bit too easy. After all, this isn't a kid's show, you know. I'm not like a, a CBeebies presenter, oh no. Look, this is a family show, which is on at tea time. It's not something you'd see in the kids' section of programmes. Like what, not like what you get on your Skybox. No. But anyway, let's see what the next question is. <clears throat> what is it called when groups of soldiers or sailors disobey their officers? Now, that's a proper question for a quiz. Monetary? Mutiny? Mutiny? Matrimony? Teddy? Um, oh, mutiny. Sugar? Mutiny. Both saying C. Correct answer is... It's C. And I suppose all of us have heard of Mutiny on the Bounty. Mutiny on the Bounty. Is that how you knew the answer, you two? Yes. Yes. Well, same with me, but um, yeah, I know what I know what a mutiny is. And for those who didn't know what a mutiny is, you know what it is now. Here comes the next question. Probably, sorry, pronunciation problem. What do you have when you pretend something is not worth having because you cannot have it? Soggy bananas, sour grapes, shaky pears, or smelly cherries? Teddy? Ooh. Um, I'm gonna say um, sour grapes and sugar. I'm gonna say smelly cherries. Teddy says B. Sugar Mouse says D. Correct answer is B. Point to Teddy. Mm, no. just remembered, earlier on I was given a box of cherries. I can't wait to try them. I love cherries. Now, was it in this box? Yeah, I think it was in this box. I think I might have a cherry right now. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, oh my goodness, what I smell! Oh. <laughs> No wonder they're no wonder they smell. They're way past their sell by date. Ninth, used by the 9th of October, 1984. Oh, honestly. Right, those cherries are going out soon after this show is finished. I better give that person a ring right now. Hello? Yes, it's Oscar. The person he gave the cherries to? I hate to say, but they're... They're way past their sell-by date. 9th of October 1984 is when they were meant to be used by. Oh, that's alright. Uh, next time, check the sell-by dates before you give me stuff like that. It's thank you, bye. Well, I'm glad that job's done. <clears throat> Next question coming up. In the Walt Disney film Hercules, what sort of weapon does he use? A dagger? A gun? A bow and arrow? Or a sword? Teddy? If that is Hercules, I'm gonna say sword. Sugar Mouse? Oh, sword. I know that. Both saying D. Correct answer is... D! Point to both of you! <laughs> you know what? I 
me kind of make a pretty good sword fighter in a film. What's this? Pointed end, you see. Oh God! Take that! And that's gone! You're watching STV if you've just tuned in. Or I am a family channel. Yeah. If there's ever if there's ever a new musketeer type thing, give me a shout. Because I think I'd make a pretty good musketeer. I'm a, you've just seen my sword fighting skills. But for right but right now, I'm a television presenter. So let's get back to doing that. Here comes the last question of the quiz. What type of food is macaroni? Oh macaroni. Oh goodness me, I'm hungry again. Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> uh, vegetable, pasta, bread, cheese. Mm, macaroni cheese. Telly! Mm, oh, I'm gonna say pasta. Sugar? Um, cheese. Teddy says B. Sugar Mouse says D. Correct answer is B. Point to Teddy. E. Oh. But I thought. Hey. Oh, 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 I, I, I get it. I know there's there's such a thing as macaroni cheese sugar, but um, macaroni is not a sort of cheese. It's a pasta, remember? Oh, bother! Never mind. Goodness me, I'm so hungry. Right, let's reveal the winner quickly so we can have our tea. Okay, and the scores are... Teddy, six. Sugar Mouse, four. The winner is Teddy! <laughs> I won, I won, I won. And here you go, here's your prize. Thank you, thank you. Sugar, come up here. Well done. Oh. Thank you, and well done, Teddy. Thank you, Sugar. Well done to you. A lot of well done's! Yay! Series 3 of the Oscar Barnett Show has been a fun series, I think we can all agree. That's all from us here. Thanks for watching! See you in Series 4, and good night! Well, that's another series done. You say we'll have series four. Well, I have a. I, there's a high chance that this show will be commissioned for a fourth series. Great. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll get a studio audience again. What was that? Well, I missed our studio audience. Come on, let's have our tea!